We begin with the expanding probe into the power abuse scandal revolving around President Park Geun-hye's confidant Choi Soon-sil. Prosecutors are now questioning two key figures involved, one of whom has been close to Choi for over 10 years. Our Hwang Ho-jun has more. Prosecutors summoned Lee Seung-chol on Friday morning as a witness in the growing scandal centering around President Park Geun-hye's longtime confidant Choi Soon-sil. E, the current vice president of the Federation of Korean Industries, helped establish two foundations linked to Che and participated in fundraising for the organizations. Che is suspected of having used her connections to President Park to solicit a massive amount of corporate donations for the foundations in a short period of time and is also accused of having embezzled some of the funds. Prosecutors are also questioning Ko Young Tae, a man known to have close ties to Che. During an interview last week with local broadcaster JTBC, Gu indicated that Che had access to the president's speeches, raising questions about whether she also had access to sensitive state documents. In the interview, Gu was quoted as saying that what Che loves most is editing the president's speeches. Gu was immediately taken for questioning upon his arrival in Seoul late Thursday after flying in from Bangkok. The prosecution says Gu flew back of his own free will and is being quizzed as a witness, not a suspect, based on his request. Gu is a former top-class fencer and the CEO of a handbag company. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Justice is seeking a way to bring Che back to Korea from Germany. A ministry official said Friday that it is doing all it can, including exploring the option of suspending her passport. However, that's easier said than done. In order for an extradition request to be granted, a trial must be held on the allegations against the subject. Moreover, Che's exact whereabouts in Germany are still unclear. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.